Hello everybody, Brad the Guitar just here. Enjoy the video. And I thought I might round out this shit post Friday by showing you guys uh, this box of stuff. Uh, these are parts and I don't even know what all is in this thing. I've, I've got a picker friend who uh, he does like old houses and estate sales and that sort of thing and picks through them and weeds through stuff and then kind of sells it all off piecemeal um, you know to I guess people on his contacts list and this and that but uh, he calls me whenever he gets anything kind of electronics related most of the time and uh, he brought me this box and I don't think I paid him more than actually I bought this along with a uh, a really old Bell and Howell um, 12 inch speaker in a cabinet and I think the whole the, the whole speaker and this was I don't know it was under a hundred bucks it was like 70 bucks or something like that for all of it but I'm curious what's in here I think what we might do is just is pick some of this stuff out and see what all's here okay let's see what we've got here let's just throw a couple piles of stuff up This should be enough to sort of get us started. Got a lot of this type of capacitor. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, naturally I'm gonna put all these up. Okay, this is a Elmenco Mylar paper capacitor. I'll test a few of these and see if they're okay. I'm sure they probably are in this Mylar case. But like, but yeah, these ought to be useful capacitors. These won't won't have suffered. Uh, I don't think these will have suffered as much over the years just because of the way they're made and what they're made from. They still have paper, but there's a good chance they're still good. Here's a here's a center lab uh, disc capacitor right there. I'm hoping there's more of those. I need some disc capacitors. I can always use more of those. What's this? A light switch cover? That's an old Bakelite, probably. Made in the USA. That's old school. Got a bunch of these rheostats. And uh, they're, they were all in their original boxes but most of them have fallen out of their original boxes but uh but yeah you know that these they're, they're basically like pots Interesting. So there's several of these. What are these? Frost, frost radio metal frame rheostats, and they're going to have different values. It's a shame that the boxes kind of came apart. Looks like a lot of them are still here, though. Here's a smaller one. Frost radio. Uh, Herbert H. Frost Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois. Interesting. Yeah, there's a, there's several of those. There's a whole there's a whole bag full of them, and a lot of uh, boxes too that are empty, strewn around. Here's another wall plate, still in its packaging. Westinghouse. That's an old one too. Uh, carbon comp resistors, half watt, military type, RC20, 50 pack, 1000 ohm, 10%. Cool. You can always use 1K. That's a good value. 
Heck yeah, awesome. Wish there was a whole bunch of those. Uh, here's some point double oh ones in those capacitors. More point double oh ones, whole bag of them, a five. Uh, here we have one watt. What's this? 800, 820 ohms, one or 820k, one watts. And the original packaging. Look there, original packaging. Full of some kind of little turds. Or those ant corpses. Those are ant corpses. Look. Shouldn't hurt the resistors. Now these packages are just filthy, and it's, it's all, a lot of this stuff is filthy. It's another one of the lights. I wonder what's up with all the light switches. Maybe this person was a contractor. What is this? Glow, glow bar resistor for Motorola. You can't put it in anything else. It's just specifically for Motorola. <laughs> Workman. What does this say? Workman Electronic Products Incorporated. What does that say? Sarasota, Florida. So there's a big, what, 19 ohm resistor. More uh, caps. 0 0.003 as an odd value. Odd values are good because if, if you can't get them anymore, that's, that's kind of the ones you want to have in a way. If you're experimenting, um, 20 pico farad. Is that what that's supposed to be? That looks like a resistor to me. Hmm. Or this might be all. What is this? I don't know. It's a Centra Lab something or other. It looks like. I thought it was a resistor. I could be wrong. More of these 0068s. What's this? It's a big fused resistor. 4.7 ohm fused resistor. If you guys see any of this stuff that you would, you know, that you would like to buy, let me know. I'll sell it for cheap. What's this? A diode? Let's see, another Workman Electronic Products. That says something about diode. Is that a diode? It is. Di it's two series diodes. Okay. Interesting. You don't see those. Uh, Hudson quality lamp bulbs. Man, it looks like there's a few in there. That's good. Spade type bulbs. 6 volt. I guess there's 6 volt. Yeah, 6 volt. 5.95 volt. Any more of these center lab tubular capacitors? Interesting. There's another one of those fused resistors. I wonder if this was stock from a. Um, from a store or whether this was you know somebody's personal stat these are some of this stuff would be kind of oddball things to have if it was your personal uh, you know stash of parts some lamps there's lamps in here too a couple boxes of lamps a couple more boxes yeah he basically just threw in all these parts because I bought the, uh, the other the uh, I bought a cabinet from him and he just threw this stuff in. 
uh, two times 0 0.01 microfarad. Two ceramic disc capacitors in one. That's cool. There's some Zenith packages. I don't see where it's open, but I don't see the die. Oh, it's in there. Something's in there. Is it there? Yeah, it's in there. It's right there, whatever it is. It's a diode. Uh, here's another one of those two-in-one capacitors. I think. No, 70k ohms integrator. The hell's an integrator? It looks like two capacitors to me, like that other part. But they're calling it an integrator. Huh. Aerovox, mylar and paper dipped by electric capacitors. 0.033 so if you have any that look like that they were made by Aerovox Aerovox okay Elmenco more of these 0047's there here's a couple of power resistors 5 waters 125 ohms diode right there looks like yep GE diode something what's this another capacitor yeah these are just weird capacitors I would have guessed that that was a resistor but that is a capacitor. Interesting. Tubular TC high cap capacitor. Color coding. Reads from the left with the leads up. Violet, red, violet, brown, green. Interesting. More of these. Fused resistors. So these are all small value. Interesting. I never I, I don't recall ever having seen those before in my life. Chicago miniature went. I like that box. Chilco. Long life Chilco bulbs. I like that package. It looks cool. Anyway, yeah, that's some of the stuff that I got. What's what's in what is this shit? Oh, it's a loop antenna. Okay. A UHF loop antenna for... This will be for TV. Remember these things. Useless now, but... Yeah, black and white TV. Best color. Yeah, if any of you guys who are into TVs, you know, if you want some of this stuff, just let me know. I, I, I'm not going to use these. Got some big resistors here. I've already got a few big resistors in my resistor collection. I'll add to that, I guess. What do we have here? We have some... Uh, this looks like shielding for wiring to me. What is this? Idler wheel for phonograph. RCA. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna shit if this is one that I need. Uh oh, it's in pieces. Well, oh, that's not good. That's not good. Yeah, this is gonna be DOA. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. That's a shame. Brand new, never used, but that's what happens to them, even if they sit. What a shame. What is this? Stock number 70021, idler wheel, RCA. Or may, I don't know, maybe that is the old one. Somebody just stuck it back in the package. This one looks sealed, though. And this is a turntable drive built. I'm almost... That actually looks in good shape. I think that might actually be in good shape. I'm going to leave that... I'm going to leave that as it is. So those are turntable parts in this bag. Oh, this might be for a... Uh, this might be for like a tape machine, like for a drive, for a tape machine. That's possible too. Popular Mechanics Magazine. The main cam tire. Oh, it's well, still somewhat flexible. Still flexible. It might work in whatever that's for. No idea what it's for. It's got to be either a phonograph or a tape machine. So that's kind of cool. There's a couple other parts in there too I won't bother with. But yeah, man, lots of different parts, and that, that's not even all of it. There's some other crap in here too. Yeah, we'll probably put some of the other stuff over on uh, on channel two. Anyway, 